Hey guys, it's Lisa V for Hollywood Life. And raise your hand if you've been watching Ariana Grande's thank you next video on repeat ever since it dropped Friday. Yep, that's uh, basically everyone. Thank You Next is arguably one of the best, most mature, and self-empowering breakup songs right now. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And the music video seems to be living up to its hype as our sister site Variety is reporting it broke YouTube's record for most views in 24 hours. I really think Ariana Grande's song was very insensitive, especially given the fact that Mac Miller passed away less than two months before she released it. And you can't tell me that she didn't capitalize off of Mac Miller's death by mentioning him, especially when she or whoever wrote the song knew that the music community was grieving about Mac Miller's death. And who knows if she wrote that line about Mac Miller in the song, Thank You Next, because there were seven writers, seven writers for one song. Whoever put out the song obviously wanted to capitalize off of all the things that they were talking about. And how do y'all think Pete Davidson feels? Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson broke off their engagement right before she released that song. I really think people aren't paying attention to how insensitive Ariana Grande has always been about Mac Miller's death. And her mentioning his name on a pop song meant to get millions of views for the purpose of getting views is not appropriate. I don't think, I don't see how anybody thinks that that's appropriate, but I think people just aren't paying attention to that. And, you know, I'm not getting mad at anybody in particular because in all honesty, I think everybody likes that Thank You Next song. Like my girlfriend who thinks very similar to how I do, she's the person who made me watch that whole video. And it's like, what do people think that that Thank You Next song is about? Like, what do people think the line Thank You Next is about? It's basically a breakup anthem for women, right? Because men are like disposable and thank you for the things you've taught me, but next. And she talks about four of her exes, so she's just like going through them. And one of them just passed away less than two months ago. She's not even upset about it. She, in my opinion, if your dearest friend just passed away and you're gonna write a song mentioning them, make it a sincere song. Don't make it a pop song like this. Or I should say, don't make it a pop song that sole purpose is for views. I mean, I don't really care for Pete Davidson personally. I don't really think he's that funny. But recently, he's come out as suicidal, and apparently he's beginning harassed by Ariana Grande's fans. I mean, can you imagine planning on marrying a woman, and then y'all break up, and less than a week later, she comes out with a pop song about all of her exes? And not only that, but there's a reference to how Big Sean can still get it or something like that. But I guess that's like the whole vibe of the song, right? Like savage pettiness. Like that's what we're going to like involve Mac Miller in and all and everything. But anyway, enough about Ariana Grande. As of this recording, P has posted a lengthy message on Instagram that reads in part, quote, I'm trying to understand how when something happens to a guy, this whole world just trashes him without any facts or frame of reference. He goes on to say he has been bullied online and in public and has previously spoken out about bipolar disorder and being suicidal in order to bring awareness to anyone who needs it. He ends his post confirming, no matter how hard the internet or anyone tried to make me kill myself, I won't. I'm upset I even have to say this. Also in the music video, fans noticed the tattoo Myron on her foot. She originally had the number 8418, which was a firefighter badge of Pete's late father who sadly died during 9-11. But in behind the scene video, Ari showed off her new Myron tattoo, which is also the name of Max Dog. Kind of bittersweet, right? Hey, you've been telling me all day. It's a woman want to be able to do whatever she want with however many men, whatever she want, and not be called a slut. Do you agree with that? I mean, yeah, because men have it that way. What is wrong when men do it? I mean, men just don't get shamed for doing it. They get praised. I know, but it's still wrong when they do it. 
I mean, I, I get, I don't, how's that? I don't think it's wrong when anyone does that. I think people should just be able to do what they want to do without shame from society.